Hey guys, Drew here with KPO Global for Thursday, April 21st. Today's video blog is about toggling the editor in a Joomla article. So let's go ahead and log into Joomla. Go ahead, log into your panel, whatever you want to call it, and then go ahead and open a new article. Continuing with our theme of baked goods, this will be about cookies. Um, <laughs> And go ahead, let's make a couple titles. Um, chocolate chip. Um, let's change it up. Peanut butter. Snickerdoodle. Uh, then let's just italics. Oatmeal. So, we just did some basic tech text stuff let's underline this I'm talking about cookies that's all we're doing right now so what I want to talk to you guys about today is this button right here toggle editor you see what happens this turns the article into the straight HTML that the um, the WYSIWYG is automatically interpreting for you so if we go back here that's the WYSIWYG the what you see is what you get the toolbar up here and it is interpreting um, the HTML that you have and it's also putting putting your actual text in terms of HTML so we go back here so P I, th I like to have P basically just means a line that's P close P brackets and close P any of you who know any basic coding you'll know that um, simple strong means bold strong strong so I have strong M M means um, italicized. That's what M means. And so we have strong and italicized. We have that. Um, you can see underlining gets kind of complicated. So these are just examples of the actual HTML commands that you're going to have here. So let's make our own, just let's insert our own little line. This is my test line bracket P close close bracket. If we toggle editor, this is my test line, and it comes up just like that. So you can manually do stuff like this. Typically, you aren't going to want to do that. You're going to want to use the WYSIWYG because you have bold italicized underline all right there, right? But if you have an article where you're having an issue with a uh, image or you're having issues with links or anything at all, you can come in here, look at the actual HTML, and see what's going on with your article, just in case um, you can have one of your developers look at it, you can have a friend look at it, anyone who knows what they're doing with HTML. And yeah, that is why toggling on and off the editor is powerful. And oftentimes people want to, developers will definitely want to work in the HTML screen because they know how to do really cool things with HTML. And that is your blog for April 21st. Be sure to come back tomorrow and the next day for more tutorials from KPO Global.